Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming Copa Libertadores match day five tie between Colón and Olimpia. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now while we load. I would greatly appreciate it. This fiction will be played in one of my favorite named stadiums in all of world football. El Cementario de los Elefantes. The Elephant Cemetery. The Elephant Cemetery. Still no idea why it's called that, but I love it. Very imposing. Alright, as these two sides complete their pre-match festivities and prepare for kickoff, let's take a look at our starting lineups. Here we are for Cologne, it's a 3-5-2 with Rodriguez and Morello up top, Ferreira the attacking mid, Castro and Bernardi the edge midfielders, Alejandro and For Olympia it's a 4-4-2 with Santa Cruz the man to watch, alongside Gonzalez in the strike pair, Ricalde and Silva with the edge mids, Rojas and the center mids. Is our Copa de Victorious ball from Nike Point. And we are underway from El Cementario de los Elefantes in Argentina. Welcome. The side from Asocion Paraguay. Santa Cruz, the man to watch for me. For Olympia. Very skilled and experienced center forward. He has played for the Paraguay national side. He's played for several clubs. Played in the last. He scored a lot of goals in his day. in the header off the mark Between these two sides yet here in the first half. Cologne have had a couple of opportunities swung into the box here that have gone for headers.
Oh, and there's another chance on a through ball just wide. That was the best scoring chance at the half. It came right at the death. The score is still nil-nil at the break. Take a look at our halftime stats. So nearly 60% possession. Five shots to none for Kalor. Been firmly in control of this one, but still nothing to show for it as we kick off the second half. Gonzalez for Gonzalez. In some space, sends it across. Defended by Cologne, headed out, and now Cologne on a pretty good counter here. Look at this! Oh, what a last pass! It's a kick off by the defense. It's certainly building into something for Cologne. Day. Runs on two. Al Younger catches up and wins possession for Cologne and immediately gives it back. Santa Cruz plays it back. Al Defends Otovaro. Al Silva. Oh, a free kick given in a pretty good position here for Olympia. And what a strike! A goal for Olympia! 71st minute. Off the crossbar and in. Straight down. Also off the back of the keeper, but I think it already touched before it came back and went off the back of the keeper. Boy, this is close. What a strike. I knew that foul was trouble as soon as I made it. Watch this strike. Off the crossbar and in. I can really do about this one. It is so perfectly placed. What a strike from Torres. Prompt substitution for Cologne. Oh, right 
play over the byline. It'll be a goal kick to Cologne, and Olympia may have just cost himself a final opportunity for going with goal here. No press. Cologne for that back. Is your final goal apiece. Two goals within seven minutes of each other. Let's take a look at our highlights. Eleventh minute. Morello shot actually deflected by a teammate there, some friendly fire. 22nd minute, Ferreira. A header off the mark. 38th minute, Rodriguez, the captain, has a header go wide. Pulga. Must be a nickname. And look at this goal from Torres. Off the crossbar and in beautifully placed into that top corner that's the go-ahead goal for olympia in the 71st minute and as they say you're always most vulnerable right after you score 78th minute cologne went it back in the midfield Aguizamo on a head to ferrera he slots it home the equalizer and this one finishes a goal apiece that's it from El Cementario de los Elefantes in Argentina. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, leave a comment. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.